Hey what's up creators and welcome back to the first hour of Unreal Engine course. In this video we're going to be continuing on looking at the player blueprint inside of Unreal Engine. More importantly we're going to be showing you how we can add components and we're also going to be doing a demo where we set up a flashlight for that character so that way we know that we can take our player blueprint, we know what it's for, and we can also add components like flashlights. So many, many other possibilities for this, but for now, let's jump straight into Unreal Engine and add a light. So that being said, what we're going to do is inside of our scene that we've got here, I am simply just going to take my directional light, click on it in my outliner and turn down the intensity. It's currently set to free. I'm going to set this to 0 0.5 just to make it a little bit darker so when we add our light in just a second here we can really see this working. So now we've reduced our scene's light, let's show you how to add that light into our character blueprint now. Again we're going to access our character blueprint by going to bp underscore third person character. That's under content, third person and blueprints. If we go to our viewports, we're now at a point where we can start adding things into this. Doing this is really straightforward. We just go up to components in the top left hand corner and we can press add to add a component for ourselves. The type of component that I'm going to be adding is simply just a spotlight. So I'm just going to search for spotlight and by just typing that in, clicking on it. And you can see now in my viewport, it has added that spotlight. And with this spotlight, I can move it backwards and forwards just like this. Now the spotlight I'm just going to be placing in front of my character here just around the chest height. Then once I've done this I can go ahead and press compile in the top left hand corner which is just going to process all of the changes that we've made and then if we go ahead and press play now you can see in front of my character I have a flashlight and when I run I can see that flashlight lighting up the scene. Let's hop back into this third person character and change a few things. So let's say I want this light to be a little bit brighter. We can do that. If we go to our intensity it's currently set to 5000. Let's set this to 10,000 so it's extra bright and again we can do all of this in the details panel just like as if it was in the scene itself. We can also go in and change things like the light color. So let's take that and what I'm going to do is just add a slight blue tint. And again, once I'm ready to see my changes, I press compile in the top left hand corner, minimize and press play. And you can see now my flashlight is even brighter. While we're in play mode, some of you are going to have an issue where your light is following your camera. It's just moving around with the camera rather than always being in front of the character. We can change this really easily by opening up this third person character again. And inside of here, you can see in the hierarchy of my components, my spotlight is underneath my follow camera. If I want to attach it to a particular object, in this case, we're going to do the character. We can do that by clicking on my spotlight, dragging until we drop it over mesh. And you can see here, it says drop here to attach spotlight to mesh. So one thing that I wanted to mention with our character is, as you can see we're running here, we've got a little bit of flickering with the light. And that's totally okay, and I'm going to explain why that is, and I'm going to show you how we can fix this. Essentially, what is happening there, you're just seeing some shadows off the hands running in front of the light, which is why it looks like it's flickering. It's not flickering, it's just the shadows. So what we need to do with this is we just need to go into our blueprint and just move our flashlight slightly away from our character and down a little bit. That way the hands don't get in the way of it at all. So to do that, we're going to go to our content drawer, open up our BP underscore third person character that we've been working in. And then we're going to go to our viewport. And inside of here, we're going to click that spotlight that we added. And then just like I said, we are going to click on it to drag it forwards a little bit and we're also going to move it down so that way the hands don't get in the way. Let's compile this, save it and test it. So as you can see here now when I'm running around with those quick fixes you can see my flashlight does not look like it's flickering, there's no odd shadows on it or anything like that. We're good to go. 
So that's everything that I wanted to show you for this video. Hopefully now you can really start to see the player blueprint coming together. Just like I said at the start, it is a blueprint which is going to contain your character, your camera, your gameplay mechanics, and all the components which are going to build that up. Really exciting stuff. Move on to the next video to continue your Unreal Engine learning journey. And as always, stay awesome, keep creating.